Hello friends. I'm out here at Finley National Wildlife Refuge looking at birds. Uh, this is my hundredth video and you are watching it. And this is not recorded at the same time I recorded the next of the rest of the video. And that's gonna have a whole bunch of inconsistencies too. It's <laughs> you know what I got nothing. Hello friends. I'm not gonna lie to you, this video is gonna be a hot mess. I started recording video for this on April 14th on a trip up to Charles's. I, <laughs> it, it is now August 2nd, so that's what, three and a half months. Um, I've pretty much come to the conclusion I just need to finish this and get it out and start doing regular videos again because I kept having more ideas and more stuff I wanted to jam into it. And then I had a whole bunch of videos get corrupted. Uh, I have a whole section that was on the, I did, I did more, I did more Chobani yogurt reviews uh, because that is, I thought it was funny. Uh, and then the whole thing just got corrupted. Anyway, the big takeaway here is there's going to be a bunch of random stuff. And then at the end, there's going to be a giveaway. So stick around for that. I, I, real videos will be coming back soon. I have a proper camp out on the 18th. Uh, and apparently I'm going to Burning Man again. And then I am also going to have a, uh, oh, and, and, and you should come on October 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. We're gonna be doing my regular uh, Indigenous People Day weekend, but we're mashing it up with Meat in the Desert. So it's gonna be a big drive, some of the best places in Central Oregon. It, it's it's gonna be good. But for now, let's just get this video over and done with. It's been sitting on my shoulder like a, I don't even have words for it. It's It's been weighing me down. I need to get this video done. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna grind this thing out today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it for today. And then it won't it won't be hanging over my head like a big sharp axe. Yeah, yeah, that's a plan. Okay, let's get on with this thing. Hello friends, it's your old pal Nathan. I am <laughs> I don't really. I'm in the I'm wait I ugh. I'm gonna say I'm east of Portland. We're just going to say I'm east of Portland on a very twisty, confusing road. And we're about to show up at, at one of my friend's houses. One of my friends that you know. Who is it, you ask? Well, I'll just have to skip ahead to that part. Hey, Charles. I'm not Charles. You think, heck? I, you think anybody noticed this isn't the same car? No. And that I don't have the same haircut? No. Hey, Charles. Wait, wait a minute. What the hell am I even driving? Where do I put a tent on that? Does this joke even make sense anymore? Everybody's showing up. At party's the here, buddy. Dude, the party's happening. Special, special guest star. Hang on, I got presents for you. Are you ready? Okay. I don't know who gets what color. Well, I know it. Well, I'll let Leah pick. No, that's probably a smart move. <laughs> Put that on the camera. <laughs> All right. Smart move. But hey, not that I'm not happy to see you, but where's DJ? DJ has decided to come a little bit later. But today. But he will be here today. All right, I gotta and get my DJ in. I know. It's important. Yeah, I should mention about the hair. Oh yeah. I let my hair grow out for exactly one year to the day, but I need my summer cut. So, cutting time. Let's talk about my hair for a minute because it's kind of its own thing. I love my hair, but I clearly don't know what to do with it. I've taken just ignoring it for nine to 12 months and then cutting it all off. I'm a simple man and I don't understand or like saying product. 
Okay, back to the camp out at Bob's Acres. I set up an RC crawler track since a bunch of people brought their RC trucks. It was a lot of fun. I, I really like making the track. Uh, my truck is all torn apart right now as I am uh, doing a bunch of visual mods. It's the orange looking thing if you see it in here. I expect to see that in a future video once I have a chance to actually finish it. Since this is my 100th video, I guess some reflection is in order. What are all these videos I've made? Well, there are 48 adventure videos. I classify anything where I go out and do something as an adventure video. The vast majority of those are overlanding since that's basically what the channel's about. That said, there are 24 install slash review videos. Irritatingly, those seem to be far more popular. They take a lot less effort, but are not nearly as much fun to film or edit. I don't make so many of them anymore. I guess it wouldn't be so bad if companies sent me free stuff to review, but the one time that happened, I drugged the whole company so deeply in the mud that I never had another reach out. Except the same company did once, and then I pointed out the prior review and they withdrew the offer. There are 18 random videos of things I just found interesting and amusing, like Lego trains or eating yogurt. Then there are three how-to overland videos. I plan on making more of those and have grand plans, but never enough time. Then we have three shorts, which I really don't like the format of, but I thought I'd try it out to see how they worked. And three live videos, which I had a little success with. And that's it. I need to get more of the how-to overland videos done, and I have a lot of footage in the hopper, just a matter of editing. I had plans to do an old-school overland video with my CJ5 and camp like we used to back in the 80s, and I had another video called Electric Overland, where I was going to take the Tesla out and see how it handles overlanding, but those have all yet to be filmed. One other thing, I've been wanting to make a car review channel. Maybe this fall I'll find time to spin that one up. Okay, before I say anything about these clips, I want you to look at the cloud shadows in the top left here. Yes, how cool is that? I've made three of these videos each time over Indigenous Peoples Day weekend over three separate years. The first was filmed at Paisley Caves, the second two are on the Alvord. I love the Knight Rider theme and opening video I always have. I haven't really done it justice in any of these videos, but let me tell you, they make me very happy to create and edit. Heck, I got so excited to record this narration about it, I accidentally stabbed myself in the eye with my microphone, and it still kind of hurts. Anyway, I think I might have the raw video to try a shot-by-shot -shot remake, but it, it's on the list. We'll get it done eventually. Look at the clouds here. So cool. Back at Bob's Acres. It is shocking to me that I haven't done a Super Friends reference as a transition up until now. Anyway, I wanted to take this time just to point out how many new friends Overlanding has made for me. All these people you see here, and many, many more, 
I didn't know until I got into this hobby, and I've made so many great friends. I remember the first time out with Casey for his second open invite trip. I didn't know anyone except for the people I brought with me. But that's when I met Charles, who later invited me to go motorbike riding at China Hat. And then, since he hadn't murdered me, I started inviting readers of my Instagram to overland events that I planned. And that's how I met Shane and Gil and Joe. And I kept going to Charles's events, and that's how I met Andy and Ted and Moe, and so many other people that I'm going to stop now before I get into trouble for not naming everyone. The thing about overlanding is that we all have different views and different politics, and we know it, but we just don't talk about it. We don't say things that might upset our friends, because then we might not get to be friends anymore, and that's not fun. We talk about things we have in common, and we have a great time together. Anyway, thank you all to the friends I've made over the past several years. I love you all very much. Nathan, can I hear a yeehaw? Yeehaw! My camera doesn't work, hopefully. How far back can we go right here? So Charles let me drive his tractor. I hadn't driven a tractor since I was a teenager working for the state park, so that was fun. Uh, back before that, I lived on a farm and drove a Massey Ferguson. Uh, I don't seem to have any pictures of that, but here's a picture of me riding our pony. His name was Pony Maroney. Anyway, what was my point? Tractors are cool, and I want one. There you go. Shaky Cam, Beak DJ, and I are on a hike. In the 100th episode! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been to Pendleton. Uh, the people were buying so, it. They're huh? actually putting like yes, no, gas or heating cells no, inside the battery. How many brothers so are I don't want to take 395 because I want to go to the uh, on French Glen Hotel. Okay, that's basically the ending of the camp out content. Yeah, this video is spastic. Not my best work. Uh, hopefully it has entertained you to some degree, my viewers. I also wanted to take this time to thank you, the people who leave comments and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, or just watch the video all the way to the end. Uh, making these videos is a lot of work, and the comments and subscription numbers going up are the dopamine hits I need to keep driving me to do more. I mean, yes, I make the videos for my own personal reasons as well, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit I watched those view numbers like a hawk for the first 24 hours. So if you like the flavor of my videos and haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It's free! It doesn't cost you a dime. If you already subscribed, tell your friends about this guy you watch on the internet who you find mildly entertaining. I am so damn close to that 1,000 subscriber count. Now let's get to the wrapped up and the giveaway info, the part everybody's here for. Hello friends, and this is the wrap-up video for our weekend adventure up at Bob's Acres at the Bob's Slumber Party Adventure at, with uh, Charles and Leah, ADV with Roscoe. If you haven't subscribed to ADV with Roscoe, you should, because he always plans fun trips just like I do, and usually we both end up on either one of them, so you have twice the chances of going on a fun trip. Also, I did a lot of hiking, did a lot of RC car truck driving, uh, that was my first time ever building it in an RC uh, truck crawler course, and I think it turned out pretty good. I had a really good time with that. So I fear I didn't have enough footage of what was going around, and part of that's because, you know, my drone's dead, and the other part is because I was having too much fun sitting and talking to my friends. And sitting and talking to your friends does not make for good content. Unless it's Jonah. And then you probably don't want to have that on a family channel. Oh my god, this whole th ending is just going to be a bunch of me blathering and then getting distracted. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Editing Nathan hates filming Nathan. So if you got this far in the video, I expect you're asking yourself, what's so special about this hundredth episode? You know, Nathan said it was going to be special. Well, it is special, because there's a giveaway. Oh, snap! Charles was kind enough to bestow upon me a big ass awning. I'll like cut to a picture of it here or something. Okay, uh, you know I said I was gonna do a picture but I have all these cameras so why wouldn't I just use a video camera? Uh, let's talk about prizes. Prize number one. Uh, this is an Iron Man 4x4 90 degree tent. It is a little dirty on the outside but that's fine. The inside is all brand spanking new. It has this light. The attachments are actually hidden back in there, but it has all the attachments for it. Uh, it's a nice little awning. 
no hardware. And it does have a little defect up here. No, it's the other side. Hang on. Yeah, it's just got a chip taken out. Uh, I might actually just bend that off altogether and just make it a clean cut um, because it doesn't really matter. But that is number one. Number two, there's another awning. This one's a Teardrops Northwest. This one is, this is my old awning. So if, if you go, man, I want that Iron Man awning and you don't get it uh, and you still want an awning, uh, you can have that one. Um, and I know what you're thinking. It's like, because I'm only, if you want these, you got to be in Oregon and either get close to my house or be close to my house because I'm not, I'm not taking these things all over the Northwest. But you're thinking, what if I live like in uh, Colorado or, or uh, Canada or Africa? How, how are you going? What, what are you doing for me, Nathan? Well, look at these fine, fine hats I have here. Handcrafted, sorta. Um, but uh, yeah, if, uh, if you want one of these hats, just tell me what color in the comments and I'll send it to you. Well, you mean you'll have to email me address. I have an email for that. Uh, okay, I think, I think that covers it. And uh, we're gonna raffle it off. How are we gonna raffle it off? Well, if you comment in the comments, I will randomly select somebody who makes a comment. Not mean comments. No, mean comments just don't, they don't get, you don't get anything if you're being mean. That's just how we roll here at Revan 3 Adventures. But for those of you who, uh, who would like to enter, put in a comment, say you want, note in your comment that you do want the awning. Uh, you will have to pick it up from me somewhere. Uh, I am based out of the Southern Willamette Valley of Oregon. I will uh, deliver it a short amount of distance, but it's actually, uh, it's, it's pretty long. I don't think it'll fit in the bed of my truck. So I think that wraps up what I wanted to talk about. I think, I don't know, I'm running on not much sleep and way too much coffee. Uh, if you ever have a chance to have co Wendell's coffee, it's going to knock you on your ass. <laughs> So I will finish this video as I usually do by telling you, you will not stop on the way home. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I love you very much. Goodbye, friends.